Okay. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, if you have secant of 42 degrees and 12 minutes, the first thing you're going to want to do is go on your calculator and make sure that you're in your degree mode. So, if we're going to be evaluating, because it said evaluate by um, using your calculator, so the first thing I always do is want to, by using a TI, I can hit mode and make sure that degree is highlighted. If not, I'll go over to degree and press enter to highlight it. So, now the next thing is, ladies and gentlemen, we can actually type this just in our calculator as is, but let's just go back to, let's get some practice of converting these back to, um, back to decimal form. You can type it in your calculator just like this. However, um, remember, how do secant and cotant, or in secant and cosine relate to each other? Remember that the secant of an angle is equal to 1 over cosine of an angle, and cosine of an angle is equal to 1 over secant of an angle. So what that means is, I, these are reciprocals of each other. Now, if you look on your calculator, we don't have a secant function. There's no, there's no secant function. However, I notice, though, if I do 1 over secant, I'm sorry, 1 over cosine of 42 degrees and 12 minutes, that is going to equal what? That's going to equal secant of that. Does everybody see how that works? I'm sorry. Yeah, with cosine. If I have that, that's equal to 1 over cosine. Now, can I determine what 1 over cosine of 42 degrees and 12 minutes is? Yeah, that's in my calculator, right? So you can plug that as is, or remember you can do 42 degrees plus 12 minutes over um, 12 over, sorry, 60. So that's going to be 42.2. So I take the cosine. I'm sorry, I do 1 divided by the cosine of 42.2, which gives me 1.3498. Okay? And that's all you guys got to do. Just remember when you're dealing with your reciprocal identities, or I'm sorry, your reciprocal properties, that when I'm trying to evaluate them using sine and cosine um, and tangent, just to use the reciprocal and then to plug it in.